Hi, welcome to an Onshape video tutorial. I want to do a spiral staircase because there is a new feature in Onshape. It's a curve pattern. So let's start with the sketch. Right on that plane, the top plane. Make it a circle. And diameter should be, for example, 200. Leave the sketch, make an extrude, make it let's say 360. Confirm. Now you could create a helix, so go for a helix, choose the cylindrical face right here, make it one revolution, and the start angle should be for example, zero degrees and confirm. Let's hide this part or body. Okay, now I need another sketch. Again on the top plane. Again a circle. And maybe again the diameter should be 200. Let's you normal to the sketch plane and maybe hide the helix for a moment. Then I need some lines, maybe like this. Okay, trim. And trim this as well. Give it an angle right here. Let's say this is 20 degrees and maybe make this line horizontal. Yep. And let's make another circle and diameter, maybe 30. And trim this as well. Maybe like this. Okay. Leave the sketch. Make an extrude with the sketch. And let's say this is 20. Confirm. Now let's show our helix and make a curve pattern with this extrude. So let's go for pattern, choose curve pattern and I want to pattern parts and that's the part, I want to pattern part 2 and the path should be this one and I want to have 18 or let's say 19. Very nice. And confirm. So maybe make another sketch on the top plane right here. Another circle. Okay, and diameter should be maybe 50. Make an extrude with this sketch. And this should be, I think, 380. Let's see. Yes, nice. Confirm. I noticed there is a small problem if you want to make a boolean operation with this body or part and all the other ones. So for the moment I will not make a boolean operation. But what I want to do is to give this model some variables so I could easily control this 
staircase. So as I need these variables before I do all this stuff, I will move this row back bar up, perform my sketch one, and declare all the needed variables. So let's go, for example, for one which is called step height. Maybe I write it like this, okay? And the value should be 20 because I use the values which the model has right now, so I can control if I put the variables into my model, if I do it right, because if the model changes, I made a mistake. If it doesn't change, I might have done it right. And confirm. So the next variable should be one which is called uh, step angle. And this one should be, at the moment it's 20. Confirm. Then I need one for the numbers of the steps. So let's call this step number. Right now it's 19. Confirm. And I need another one. The complete height of the staircase. And that's another variable. Right now it's 380. So the staircase height is 380 and confirm. So now let's put these variables into my model. Move this back down and we go to sketch one, no, sketch one, not extrude one, no, but helix one, no, sketch two, yeah, sketch two. And let's change this one to the step angle. So you need the hashtag and call this step underline angle. Confirm, confirm, and it didn't change, so it might be the right position. I could hide the helix for the moment because I don't need it. And I could also hide the planes. Okay, so next would be the step height. That's this, no, that's this extrude, yes. So put right here, hashtag step underline height. And confirm. Now the step numbers are in the curve pattern. So make this hashtag step number. Confirm. And the staircase height should be this extrude, and there should be hashtag step, no, staircase, staircase height, and confirm. Okay. Okay, so let's add some formulas. That seems there's another problem. These variables don't exist simultaneously, sort of. There's some historical moment to these. So if I want to declare the step angle, I have to use first the step numbers. 
and the step numbers yeah so I will move this up okay now I could declare this step number should be three hundred and sixty divided by hashtag step height plus one okay and then I could declare the formula for the step angle so let's go here and this should be three hundred and sixty divided by step on the number minus one the hashtag and confirm and the height should be hashtag step height multiplied with step number hashtag don't miss the hashtag plus one and confirm so this is a little bit too high so this should be probably only this value yeah that's more like it now let's check if we change this if all the other ones change as well so let's change the height to 10 and confirm yes very nice indeed so yeah there's still the problem with the boolean operations maybe you can find a solution I couldn't it seems to work but if you change the numbers of the steps the boolean operations will work somehow I don't get it but maybe if I come up with a solution for myself I will make another video so hope you enjoyed this video anyway if you did give it a like down below if you want to see more on shape videos give it a like down below or just leave a comment thank you for watching see you to the next one bye bye